Today we're going to make a very useful project. I don't know about you, but these cords are everywhere in my life. I have so many of them and they're all around the house. They get lost, they're in my backpack, they're tangled up, I forget what goes where. This one is for my watch and I need a better way of organizing them and I'm going to show you how with this little project that we're going to sew. So, this has not had the Velcro attached to it, but it does fold up like an envelope, sort of, and has a tab. This will have Velcro here, and it's basically a cord keeper for your cell phone cord or any other type of electronic device where the cords are getting out of bounds in your life. It holds it. And you can make as many of these as you need, color code them, make them all different designs, and it helps organize all that good stuff. So let's get started. What you're going to need is some cotton fabric. I think the cotton, that the light cotton is really best because if we go too thick like a flannel, this is a flannel example, it's a very bulky um, thing to sew, especially when you're just starting out with this project. So you could probably do that later with a heavy duty needle. This one is in progress. You'll also need interface, which I have a general universal interface that um, you iron on to your fabric. And you're going to receive a template for this particular design. It's five and a half by three and a half with a rounded edge for the fold. Um, you'll also receive, or you don't need to use this unless you you need it is this is the second one to help you with a stitch guide and I'll show you all the steps as we go you'll need scissors velcro for the end piece and probably a ruler and your pencil you can use a dark uh, white pencil actually for darker fabric if you need it um, but again the sky's the limit with your creative choices of fabric I'm going to mix and match and make it different. You may have um, some fabric, specific fabric that you like. So let's get started. Okay, so now you have one side that has the interface attached to it and the other side that does not. Um, it's ex actually a choice. You can put interface on the other side if you want it extra thick, but I find once it's done, this is one piece is enough. Um, maybe your fabric is super thin and you want to reinforce it. That's okay. Your choice. So. Next step would be um, a second template, which is really just allowing for the seam guide. It's about a quarter of an inch, a little bit more. Um, this is to help guide you while you're sewing. Basically, I just use this um, to help me visually draw the line as to where I'm going to sew and direct my machine. So using that and a pencil again, and whatever, you can use a pen. Um, the pencil is just a little bit easier to maneuver. You're just gonna go 
across and around, but I'm leaving a space for where we need to keep it open. And that will be our finishing spot. And again, it could be a slimmer allowance. This is about a quarter of an inch, a half an inch around there, um, 0.75 cm to be exact. Um, you can also eyeball it. You may feel really good about how your stitching is going and you can just guide along by eye. I like to have a line. So your interface side will look something like this when you're ready to sew. And you'll do the stack up before we get started with that by putting the two right sides together. And you'll be sewing on this side. Definitely grab yourself some safe, some um, straight pins. To Okay, so now you've done your top stitch and it's time to add the Velcro. Notice that I put a dark thread on my bobbin just to give an accent. That's an option. It's definitely um, better to match your, your threads, um, but I wanted to have that um, dark line as part of the design and it will fold up that way with the flap this way. All right, and so your Velcro is going to go here and here. And Velcro um, that works well is the one in, that has the sticky background. So you'll take two squares, cut them, and place them with the adhesive to hold it down so that you can sew effectively right through it. And the easiest way to sew through it is either to go through the square around or just make an X. Um, the X will have the tabs come up on the sides. It may like fray on you a little bit, but it still will look good. So back to the sewing machine.
with this piece is to use the Velcro before doing the stop the top stitching so that you're not seeing the Velcro attachment with the sewing marks. So this you would be this would be invisible if you were to attach the Velcro prior to sewing this closed. So that's um, a way to think about how would we attach these pieces before sewing it together. And the answer is to put it on the inside on your right pieces. So you'll put one at the top and one at the bottom of the inside one so that when you close it up after pulling it together, it will close together properly. So that's a design challenge that you can work on if you do not want to see your sewing lines for your Velcro attachment.